Now we come to the cortical cataract. The cortical cataract which is actually more common than the nuclear cataract and we have already seen that this cataract occurs actually due to the overhydration. This occurs due to the overhydration that is why this cataract is also called as the soft cataract. So we have a hard cataract and a soft cataract. Hard cataract is a nuclear cataract while a soft cataract is a cortical cataract. Now coming to the classification of this cortical cataract, we can have two kind of cortical cataract. One is the cuneiform variety, cuneiform variety of the cortical cataract and another is the cupuliform, cupuliform type of cortical cataract. Out of the two as I told you cuneiform variety is more common. This cupuliform cataract is also called as posterior subcapsular cataract. So posterior subcapsular cataract is actually same as that of the cupuliform cataract. Now what do you mean by cuneiform cataract? Suppose this is the lens here. Here we are getting the opacities which are starting from the periphery wedge shaped opacities which are starting from the periphery and then they are progressing towards the center. This type of cataract is actually called as the cuneiform variety of the cataract. We have got the wedge shaped opacities which are coming from the periphery and uh, they are going towards the center. So in a way I can say that this is from the periphery to the center something like this while on the other hand the other variety of the cataract suppose this is the lens here then this is the anterior part of the lens and this is the posterior part of the lens right and here again we have a nucleus so here opacification is starting in the central part of the posterior cortex something like this and it is progressing towards the equator. So this cataract which actually starts, this was anterior aspect and this was the posterior aspect, it starts from the center of, it starts from the center of the posterior cortex, posterior cortex and it is going towards the equator, it is going towards the equator. This type of cataract is actually called as cupuliform type of cataract. So can you see a sharp contrast between the cuneiform variety of cataract and the cupuliform variety of cataract? One is from periphery towards the center while other is from the center towards the periphery. So what if I ask you which will cause early termination of vision? So obviously which is starting from the center and going towards the periphery will cause early termination of vision. So I will get early termination of vision in the patients having cupuliform variety of cataract and as I have already told you that it is this cuneiform variety which is the most common morphology in the senile cataract. It is the most common morphology in the senile cataract. So it was senile that was most common. In the senile it was cortical most common and in the cortical it is the cuneiform variety which is most common while in the other acquired the most common morphology. The most common morphology in the other acquired cataract. In the other acquired cataract is the posterior subcapsular variety and one thing which is very important is that it is also most handicapping type of cataract handicapping type of type of cataract most handicapping type of cataract is actually this one which is called as the posterior subcapsular cataract 
So where you get early diminution of vision, where which is most common in the other acquired cataract, which is common in the senile cataract, which is visually most handicapping type of cataract. Now another important thing, where you have more problem during the day and where you have more problem during the night. Now obviously because pupil is constricted here, so this will cause more of the day blindness. Ca Casually, I can say that this can be day blindness or it can be night blindness. So, all the central opacities, it can be nuclear cataract or it can be a central type of cortical cataract also. The central opacities will always create a trouble whenever the patient will see in the day. So, this will cause more of the day blindness. This will cause more of the day blindness while a patient having the peripheral opacities that is cuneiform variety of cataract will have more of the night blindness. Night blindness means that this patient will complain of clumsy vision during the dim light or I can say it is night blindness. So one of the important DDs of the day blindness will be nuclear cataract, will be posterior subcapsular cataract while one of the important DDs of the night blindness will be the cuneiform variety of cataract. So this was the two types of cortical cataract.